Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is the most common endocrine disorder in women of the reproductive age group. It affects about one in six women. Uh, the typical symptoms may include irregular periods, uh, increased facial hair and acne. Uh, actually at IVF Australia we run a clinic to help diagnose PCOS and deal with some of the symptoms and talk about some of the long-term implications of the disorder. The simplest way to test for PCOS is with an ultrasound. The ultrasound looks at the ovaries and looks for polycystic ovaries. The term polycystic ovary makes you think of cysts which are normally large, but these are really small follicles with eggs in them. With regard to other testing, we look at, at doing a blood test for you, which we normally do during the early part of the period if the patient has periods. Um, we look at LH levels, which is a hormone made by the pituitary gland, and that's often elevated. And we also look at the testosterone levels, which may be raised, especially the free testosterone levels. The main health implications of polycystic ovary syndrome can broadly be divided into, firstly, reproductive consequences relating to a reduction in ovulation, which may lead to irregular or infrequent periods or difficulty falling pregnant. Secondly, emotional implications where polycystic ovary syndrome may adversely affect on one's emotional well-being. And thirdly, long-term health implications, as women with polycystic ovary syndrome have an increased risk of developing diabetes and possibly heart disease later on in life. A very important question which I'm often asked is what is the difference between polycystic ovaries and polycystic ovary syndrome? Polycystic ovaries is a diagnosis that is made by ultrasound in which there are at least 12 or more follicles seen in the ovaries. However, women with polycystic ovary syndrome usually also have other features such as irregular or infrequent periods, increasing hair growth or acne, and possibly also difficulty falling pregnant due to a reduction in ovulation. The treatment of PCOS depends on the symptoms that the patient presents with. The common fertility treatments include fertility drugs such as clomiphene or insulin sensitizing agents such as metformin and these medications may help to regulate periods and help people to fall pregnant. Occasionally IVF may be needed especially if there are other issues such as a sperm problem. And with regard to people who don't want to fall pregnant, often we use the oral contraceptive pill which helps to regulate the per periods and protect the uterus from the long-term effects of irregular periods. Uh, with regard to the acne and hirsutism, often again we use hormonal treatments such as the oral contraceptive pill, which is very effective at reducing testosterone levels and increasing estrogen levels, which are beneficial for the skin. Um, sometimes we um, can use cosmetic treatments such as um, laser and electrolysis for hair removal, which do uh, work effectively in the short term also. If you have or believe you may have polycystic ovary syndrome, then please contact us through the website here at IVF Australia.